Hey guys, welcome back to the Franny channel. Now, today I have the incredible, the wonderful, the beautiful, the purplish, the palette. There you go, Nervina palette. Uh, so I got my hands on the beautiful Nervina palette. Uh, beautiful, beautiful. You have the seven metallics up there and the seven uh, matte colors on the bottom. Great. Uh, selection of colors I really do think that they really really match like you can put this on your lid and then top it off with like a metallic on the top which you would want to probably put it on with the wild child color if you have like the soul on your lid you might want to top it off with like celestial um, so you have uh, matte colors to work with and metallic colors to go on top of them now uh, this will cost you uh, $42 staple as her other palettes. Uh, I do want to say that the formula of this Norvina palette is very, very, very similar to the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette and to the Prism palette. I haven't played with the subculture yet. Huh. That's one that's on my list that I have somewhere there hiding because I want to play with it also. Uh, but yeah, I got my hands on this. Uh, I loved it. I have played with it. If you see fingers, you know, dabbed in there, it's because I have played with it. Um, I do want to say that the colors are really creamy and blendable. Uh, the metallics the metallics bring a punch to it like they're very 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 pigmented i really really liked it um what else can i say about it i i i loved it i loved it and it's a palette that i'm going to keep on using um you have colors to go into like a base and then and go to your crease and add more colors and um i really do think it should be a staple in people's collection um I once I saw it and I saw it was purple and I saw the colors on the inside I was like yes take my money I want it now um, but then I wasn't too sure that I wanted to get it and then when I went into my Ulta and played with them I was like yeah this needs to be in my collection now and I will have the swatches I don't know if like here in the intro or once I go into the video uh, but I will have the swatches I will have the products that I use on my face also I will have the uh, brushes that I used to do this um, look and without any further ado let's jump into the tutorial I'm just gonna keep on blabbing here about the palette and that's something that you guys want to see how they blend so let's go in shall we yes okay Bye -bye. welcome back to the friend channel hey guys so today I have the Nervina palette um, this is an awesome palette it comes with seven metallic shimmery glittery beautiful colors on the top and seven uh, beautiful mattes on the bottom now um, it does look like I've used it uh, it's because I have um, I previously had done a video and then um, I found out that it was only half way recorded so this is the second attempt fingers crossed so um, I bought this not too long ago and uh, I loved uh, the colors of it and just and just because I wanted another Anastasia Beverly Hills palette because why not um, the palettes that I have from her I've really 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 enjoyed I like the sleekness of the velvet um, packaging now um, because it is a velvet packaging, it's a little dirty. I mean, you can get this dirty really fast. Uh, so let's go ahead and play with this palette and um, I will have the swatches around here somewhere. And uh, also I will link all the products or I would put in the description or I will put on the description area um, all the products that I used on my face and the brushes but let's go ahead and jump into this palette uh, let's go ahead and start with uh, priming our eyes or putting a base uh, I am going to use this one that's called ha base 
and I'm going to use that on a M433 brush and let's go ahead and dive in. Now, right off the bat, I noticed that the um, formula of this is really, really similar to the Modern Renaissance palette and to the Prism palette, which I really, really like. Uh, I haven't tried the Subculture one yet. I have purchased it, but it's somewhere in there. Um, now that I have my base on, I'm going to go with a little more intense color so I can put that on my crease. And I'm going to use this Morphe M441 and I'm going to go into that incense color right there. And that's going to go um, a little bit above my crease uh, just because I love, I love, I love, just because I like to do my crease a little bit more on the top. So let's go ahead and grab that. And with a clean brush, I'm going to go ahead and just blend. Okay, using that same, actually no, I'm going to go into a smaller brush. Using the Anastasia little brush that comes with it, I'm going to go ahead into that incense color again, and this is going to go on my under eye. Using a smaller brush, this is going to be the M514, I'm going to go into that Vilo tile, and that's going to go a little bit underneath than the color that I just put on. With um, I'm gonna clean the little Anastasia brush. With that little Anastasia brush, <laughs> Anastasia brush, I'm gonna go into Violet Tile again, and it's gonna be just my outer corner. And as you can see, I connect it with that inner corner. Great. Now going to clean that little um, M514 color, uh, brush, I'm sorry, and I'm going to go into the color Passion. Now Passion is going to go a little bit under the Violet Tile color right here in my inner corner, my outer corner. Right now, cleaning my little Anastasia brush, I'm gonna go into that passion color, and this is gonna go on top of the violet tile and just connecting again. Okay, now that we have those colors on, I'm gonna go into I'm gonna try that soul color. For that soul color, I need another brush. Since I don't have another brush in front of me, I am going to clean this one also. That way I'll, I can use this little brush to the fullest. 
with this little brush, I'm going to go into that soul color right there. And that's gonna go from the half of my under eye to the corner. And this is the color that the package was from, so soul. That's a really cool color. Now, for the top, I'm going to go into that love color. I'm gonna put that on my lid. Whoa, whoa. Okay, once that matte color is on, I'm going to go into um, into, into, into the color, um, rose gold. See, if you don't have a lot of brushes, this little thing works wonders. Right now that the rose gold color is on, I'm going to go into Celestial. And Celestial, I'm actually going to grab it with my pinky and it's going to go on top of the soul color that I have on the bottom. Okay, there we go. Now, I'm taking, I'm taking drama, this one right here on this uh, little uh, five M five four one, just a tad bit. It's gonna go on my outer corner. Okay, coming out beautifully. <clears throat> now I'm taking a little bit of that wild child color and that's gonna go in the middle of my lid. So I'm taking my pinky as well and it's gonna go in the middle. That's so pretty. Now, haha. <laughs> hey, I almost used all of them. Uh, so I'm taking, so I'm gonna take Dreamer on my inner corner, also with the pinky power. And that was a lot. All right, now. Let's go ahead and finish uh, using the e.l.f. eyeliner. Okay, and some mascara. I'm gonna take this Vonder uh, mascara. Vander, Vander. that on my face. <sighs> it's gonna be a problem. Okay, and last but not least, spray. Okay. 
for lipstick. I know I have lip gloss on, but I am going to go in with Ulfra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in Verona. And there you go. This is the completed look. What do I think? I think you should definitely get this palette if you're wanting to purchase it. I do recommend it. Um, there is fallout as with any shadow that is very pigmented. Um, there is fallout. Now, I don't mind the fallout um, as long as they blend good and if the quality and um, pigment is there. I don't mind it. Just tap your brush before you put it on your lid and that's it. You should be doing that with any um, shadow, but you know, just, just saying. Um, but no, I definitely do recommend this palette. I do really, really like the seven metallic colors on the top. These are very, very pigmented. Um, one little just dab and you get a punch of pigment. Um, I really, really liked. Now, um, do you need these colors? Probably not. Do you want these colors? Probably yes. Uh, I do recommend it if you're wanting a dash of color, if you don't have these colors in your collection, or if you're a collector like I am, definitely go and get this palette. I really, 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 really recommend it. Um, I really liked it. It's it's a good quality. Uh, like I said, the pigment is there. Um, the metallic is there. They're very, very, very blendable colors, and I really do recommend this. Uh, this will put you for $42 as the normal palettes that she carries. Um, but yeah, guys, this was my take on this palette. Do I recommend it? Yes. Do you need to go get it? Sure, why not? Go into a Sephora or Ulta and just, you know, just play with the colors and maybe once you dab into the colors and play with them, uh, you'll be more convinced in wanting to get it. That's what happened to me. I went into my Ulta, um, I swatched some of them and I was like, yeah, take my money right now. Um, but yeah, go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Go ahead and subscribe. Um, if you want to go ahead and share this video, go ahead and share it. If you have any comments, add the comments in there. And I will see you on the next one. Bye!